Hello everybody. We're going to talk about some profiling right now. Um, I've got myself an alignment. I've got myself an existing ground surface that overlaps my alignment and that's all I need to create a profile. So a profile, as you know, is some elevation data that's been sampled along my alignment, uh, taking elevations from my existing ground surface. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is first sample that existing ground surface and then superimpose it upon a profile grid. So in order to generate my profile, first I'm going to go to the Home tab on my ribbon and I'm going to select the Profile section and I can create a surface profile here. So I'm going to sample my existing ground profile first. Uh, I can do that from this uh, tool here. I can also get to it from my pull down menus as well create profile from surface so either one works the same I'm gonna go create pro surface profile it's gonna ask me a few questions here first the first one is make sure you're using the correct alignment uh, that you're gonna follow along for your sample and next is your surface so make sure you're uh, sampling the correct surface select your surface say add and that adds your surface down here at the bottom note that it will allow us to override the entire alignment if I only want to sample a certain portion of the the uh, that alignment I can type in the stationing here if I want um, but if you take a look down here on the uh, the profile list it'll give you some information as far as what uh, data source it's using if there's any offsets is it going to be dynamic or static I would keep that at dynamic that way that profile will always update even if your surface changes or the alignment changes you can choose a style here if you like okay pick your uh, profile style and there's your start and your end station so once you're done that you can either click OK and uh, you can go and generate that profile in a grid or you can click draw in profile view so I'm gonna jump right into the draw in profile view and that'll ask me to go through a wizard and then superimpose that sampled alignment into a profile grid so I'm gonna go drawn profile view it's going to bring me up through a wizard here and it's going to ask me uh, select the alignment that you've sampled um, your profile view name if you want to give it a, a name here you can and I usually like to call it the same name as my uh, alignment that I've sampled it helps uh, minimize any confusion you can pick some profile view styles here all these styles are listed in the settings tab under profile styles so this is how that profile line is going to be drawn or sorry the grid is going to be drawn and I can click next to move through here I can generate uh, even though I've sampled the entire range of stations I can only I can choose to put it on a, a selective uh, grid if I want I don't have to go right to the beginning to the end the end of the alignment um, my height is probably better just to leave it at uh, automatic for now if you need to change that you can uh, change up the height of the grid but basically it's telling me these this is my minimum elevation and my maximum elevation uh, for that sampled elevation data along the uh, the chosen alignment I'm going to click next and there's some uh, a few confirmation settings here um, here's the band this is the list of uh, annotation along the bottom of the profile so you can select different bands to display different types of information along the bottom of that profile the horizontal band along the bottom of the profile um, click next and uh, if you want to hatch in any of the uh, the cut and fill areas you can do that here if you want otherwise click create profile view and it'll ask you to select the top left corner of your profile and uh, go ahead and pick a point and it'll generate that profile for you so take a look based on what I've sampled here it shows me all of my my information and that red line represents my sampled surface along that alignment okay and you've got yourself a sampled uh, surface profile thanks for watching